what would you do if you were working on an amazing project? You put so much time and effort into it, and you had many people working for you, and all of a sudden, it just collapsed. The people who were working for you disappeared, and you had no more ability to complete the task. What would you do? A lot of us would get quite upset. We'd get quite depressed, feel a bit down. But we have somebody in Jewish history called Rabbi Akiva who showed us a different path, a different way. And he had 24,000 students. Imagine 12 JFSs, 2,000 students in JFS times 12, 24,000 students. That would be one massive assembly. And the building would go from where we are all the way through to the end of Kingsbury Road. An amazing edifice, an incredible institution. And all of a sudden, disappeared. Rabbi Akiva had these 24,000 students. And from the beginning of the Omer, right up until Lagba Omer, 33 days, they all died. And he could have felt very upset. I'm sure he did. He could have given up. He could have said, that's it, I've tried, I'm now an old man, I've taken 24 years to build up 24,000 students, what can I do? What more could be expected from me? But he didn't. He picked himself up and he got five other students, five other amazing students, and he taught them and he learned with them and he discovered how to grow and develop and he built up the entire institution as we know today of the world of learning Torah like we have it and he didn't give up he was very very positive and this is his character because we see Rabbi Akiva one day there's a story he's walking along the temple mound in, in Jerusalem a lot of you might have been there by the western wall and just up above the temple mound he saw foxes running through the temple mound and the people he was with, the other friends that he was with, started crying. They said, how can it be that you can have such a holy place and there are foxes running around? And Rabbi Akiva started laughing. He was happy. And they said to him, Akiva, how can you be so happy? It's a sad time. And he said, no, 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 you know what? I now know that because of this prophecy has come true, that there's such destruction of Jerusalem, and the temple being destroyed, and foxes running through, as the prophecy says, then I also know that the positive prophecy will come true as well. That there are going to be children running in the streets of Jerusalem, of Jerusalem, and old people in Jerusalem, like we see today. A lot of young children, old people, filled, filling up Jerusalem. And that's why he was happy. So we see the character traits of Rabbi Akiva. He's saying, even if something is bad, even if something is negative, we have to focus on the positive. We have to keep going. It's the journey that's important. And that's the joy that we can have through our life as we work through situations which maybe are difficult or not as perfect as they could be, but yet to know at the end of the day, there is real joy. There is real what we call simcha because we can be positive and understand that everything is part of a plan. So this Lagba Omer, when what we do is dance around fires, a lot of people, this year there might not be so many fires, because people aren't outside building massive fires. But just to know and to remember that we can be positive. We can end up with joy. We can end up with a simcha. And we can focus on what is really, really important and really, really special. When it comes to Lagba Omer, let's stop and think. Let's have a think about Rabbi Akiva and the fact that we too can be positive even in hard times. Have a great day.